Okay, so the first step with this is to go to Garmin.com and then we're gonna go to the support tab and we're gonna go to marine support. And we're gonna scroll over to the right here and go to software updates. So we have a GPS map product. We're gonna update with the SD card. So we're just gonna go down here. This is what we're gonna follow. So everything below is uh, the instructions for this process. So we'll just scroll down here. And we'll see that we have the uh, GPS map 7608. So that's this right here. So this is the one we need to download. So we'll click download. That'll just bring us over to this page, just a uh, terms conditions page. You can click agree. And then we'll come over here and click the download link, which will then download an EXE file. Uh, looks like 1.1 gigabytes in size. Now, if we scroll down this page, we can go take a look at what software version is available. So we have the GPS map 7608 version 8.0 is what the current version is. And if we click the link, it'll take us over to this page here, which will basically be the change log for every version that uh, Garmin has come out with since the initial release. So as you can see, there's quite a few changes here that have been made to this unit. Now, the other thing uh, with this, any network uh, devices or NEMA 2000 devices, you're gonna wanna have those plugged in when you do your update, because as you can see, there's quite a few uh, NEMA 2000 sensors, autopilots, um, radars, that type of thing. And then also in our case, we have the PS21 Pan Optics. So I have an update available for that, which is 4.1. And again, you can click the link to see what the change log is for that. And this was available as of April 26th. So we'll just go ahead and allow that to download. And once that's done, we'll open up that EXE file. So download's done, double click the EXE file. And just sped this process up here. Okay, it'll bring you to this wizard to uh, guide you through the update. So we'll select next, and then we're gonna select the drive that we wanna put it on. You need a card with at least two gigabytes of storage. So in this case, it's my D drive, my removable disc. So I'll select that and then click next. So again, I just sped up this process here. Okay, so the update is now on the card. We'll just click finish and we'll take the card out, go to the unit and install the update. I'm gonna make sure all of our network devices are plugged in. So as you can see, I have Panoptics transducer there. If there's any updates available, this will update that as well. If you have any NMEA 2000 sensors or other network devices like autopilots or radars, have those all plugged in because they will update as well during this process. So we'll go ahead and turn our unit on. Okay, so you can hit agree, and then it's gonna just do an initial setup. So I'm gonna select the language, turn store demonstration off, and hit okay to this. Water speed calibration, I'm gonna turn that off. You can select which position format you want to use. I'm gonna use uh, this one here, 12 hour clock, statute, power boat. The minimum safety depth is more if you're gonna be using the G2 Vision or Lakeview HD charting which will do auto guidance. I'm not, so I'm just gonna select the lowest there. Minimum overhead clearance, so if there's bridges, and again, if it's for the auto routing feature, I'm gonna select the lowest there. Collision alarm, you can set that to your preference. Um, if you're gonna be navigating with the unit, I'd say probably 2,500 feet, which is about half a mile. I'm gonna do a um, 500 foot, and then time to collision, probably set one minute on that. These are the charts I'm gonna be using, the blue chart G2. You can select the end user license agreement, and then that takes you to your main screen here. Okay, so now that the unit's turned on, we can take our SD card that we've loaded the update to, insert it into either of the card slots, and then we're gonna select update software. You can select yes. Okay, when your update reaches 100%, you can go ahead, hit restart, and then that will restart the unit. If you want to verify that the software update 
worked, you can go to settings, go to system, system information, and software information. So you can see here we have version 8.0, so this is up to date.